Okay, my name is Jim Dupin. I graduated in 63, phys ed major. And uh, I left Cortland to uh, go on to graduate school and uh, took a first job at the State University of Oneonta and later in our community college. Okay. Jim, if you think back, why did you choose Cortland for your undergraduate work? It uh, uh, came to me from uh, a coach who I uh, highly respect. And that was a very high school suburb of Rochester who uh, strongly recommended Cortland uh, for the particular school. And uh, while you were here, did you play soccer? I did. Under who? Under a fellow by the name of Fred Holloway, and uh, affectionately known as Brown. So if I said to you which Portland professors or staff had the greatest influence on you, would Prof be one of those? There were two in particular. One was uh, part of the faculty, which was Fred Holloway, and the missionary, who was a fellow by the name of Mar, and he was uh, affiliated with the admissions department. I, I, I don't know him, so... Well, Bob was here from, um, I think, um, in the late 50s, probably on through maybe the um, late 60s, I would think. And he later went on to become a college president in his own right. And how did he influence you? He was a fellow who started me professionally thinking about administration. And uh, I had studied uh, for four years. My baccalaureate was in physical education. And uh, I later went on to uh, a master's in uh, student personnel work, which uh, eventually led me to uh, State University of Atlanta, where I started there doing some admissions work. And that really was because of Bob's influence. Okay. And uh, I served five years in administration. Well, that was one of my questions, is I couldn't tie who went from physical education into admissions work and student affairs. Or, uh, I, I forgot your title when you finished up or are finishing up at Oneonta. Well, I started at Oneonta in admissions work and then later, uh, later moved to Monroe Community College where I spent 30 years um, doing primarily uh, academic faculty affairs work um, and retired as director of academic services. And when I went to Monroe, it was a rather small college, uh, maybe 1,500 students um, in the Rochester suburbs. And today, it's 15,000, 17,000 right. students. So, so quite a few changes there. Well, then, you know, particularly in your case, how did your Portland undergraduate experience prepare you for your professional future? Well, it wasn't only the, the study but it was the athletics. And uh, it taught you a lot about time management, uh, discipline, uh, competition, which everyone faces, re regardless of what's chosen field. And uh, I would say that uh, those life lessons I learned at Cortland uh, did well for me in all of my so it, it wasn't so much your background in physical education, but it was your whole undergraduate preparation that prepared you for what you ended up doing? Or? Yeah, I would say it wasn't part of it more whole. It was a holistic approach, if, if you want to take that approach. And uh, I think not only um, the programmatic side of Cortland, but the athletic side and the extracurricular. Side. Uh, they all played a role in what you might call rounding me off, so to speak, well, and preparing me. What were some of those extracurricular things? I was in a fraternity, and uh, that was helpful socially. And uh, I was active in uh, some leadership roles in the uh, uh, Men's Athletic Association. And uh, I even started uh, doing some uh, student admissions work which led me to Bob Marr and represented the college in that sense, which again paved the way for my future employment. 
When you think back, what are some of your fondest memories of Portland? So other than the, the social life and, and the wonderful coeds that I had, <laughs> um, who were very, very bright and talented. Um, I think uh, meeting some exceptionally talented faculty uh, and, and their dedication impressed me. And uh, just the, the kind of student that was attending Corbin, uh, a very dedicated student who wanted to who worked hard to achieve uh, many first generation students. And so that, that sense of the work ethic, uh, I found uh, um, very, uh, um, a, a very strong sense of the Corbin student. And what does it mean to you today to be here getting inducted into the Sea Club? Surprised, honored, um, feeling, uh, am I worthy? You know, when you see such talent uh, on the wall and, and people that you meet in the room and, and such remarkable history that uh, speaks uh, to the college. And, uh, I would hope that young people look at some of these older people and uh, the history that, that they brought forward. And, uh, and one of the things you initially asked me about soccer, if I played, and I did play a little bit. And uh, I was fortunate enough to score a few goals when I was playing I was an offensive player. And one of the things I would say to the younger people is that they really need to get going to, uh, to break through some records I said. That was 48 years ago, so it's time. But that was when you scored, was it 19 goals? I think 21 goals. 21 goals? Like that. Yeah, that's a record that probably uh, somebody should break. Well, I put that out there. Now, these young kids have got to get going because uh, it's time for that, that record to move on. And that was, I think, a nine game schedule back then. Oh, okay. That was like a Division I schedule, too. We were playing Cornell and Syracuse and Colgate. That was a lot of fun, which again led to my experience at Cortland because now it's a total D3 and Cortland freshmen couldn't play varsity sports. We had to play freshman level sports. So again, some, some time change there.